inflammation is the cornerstone of the body's healing response. And we all know it on the surface of the body. It's local heat, redness, swelling, and pain. That's the way the body gets more nourishment and more immune activity to an area that's injured or under attack. But inflammation is so powerful that it's very important that it stays where it's supposed to stay and end when it's supposed to end. If inflammation persists, if it serves no purpose, it, it becomes productive of disease. It destroys tissue, it causes damage. And so in the body, inflammation is very tightly regulated. There are forces that increase inflammation and forces that decrease inflammation. And these have to be in balance so that in inflammation is ready when it's needed and can be called off when it's not needed. There is a, I think, growing awareness that many chronic degenerative diseases, and certainly I think all of the diseases of aging, are rooted in inappropriate inflammation. Um, I said that Alzheimer's disease begins as an inflammatory process in the brain. Uh, coronary heart disease, the root there seems to be inflammation in the lining of arteries, and that seems to be a deeper root than deposition of cholesterol. Um, in fact, it may even be that the cholesterol deposits are flawed healing attempts of the body trying to patch defects caused by inflammation. So the question is, what, what causes the inflammation? You know, why is that there? Um, I think the, even the most interesting connection is with cancer because, um, you know, when I was studying medicine and up until relatively recently, all of these diseases were seen as very separate. I mean, there would be nothing in common between coronary heart disease and cancer. But in fact, the same hormones that upregulate inflammation also stimulate cells to divide more frequently. So anything that, that pushes the body in the direction of increased inflammation is also pushing the body in the direction of, of increased possibility of malignant transformation. And uh, I think the, the exciting uh, possibility here is that if all these diseases have a common root, then there's a common strategy for dealing with them. Inflammation is influenced by genetics. It's influenced by strongly by nutritional factors, and that's what I'll talk to you about tomorrow. It's influenced by toxins that we're exposed to in the environment. It's influenced by stress and emotional states. So a lot of that is under your control. And I think, one, to me, one of the, uh, the key points of healthy aging and achieving compression and morbidity is adopting and constructing an anti-inflammatory lifestyle. That is, in all the areas that you have control over, doing things that help contain inappropriate inflammation. I think you could make a case that most people in our part of the world go through life in a pro-inflammatory state. And that, you know, allergy might be one manifestation of that uh, in early life. Uh, autoimmune diseases may be, uh, but I think the more, the, the more interesting and important possibility is that long-term, that inappropriate, low-level, chronic inflammation, and not where you're aware of it, this is going on internally, um, is the root cause of these big categories of diseases of aging. Mm -hmm.